Okay, so in this section, we're going to talk about the end product breakdown structure. Now, the end product breakdown structure is the result uh, of actually going through the other phases that we had previously discussed in the Intro to Capella uh, presentation. So now here we're still in the defining the, the solution uh, topic, and with this lesson, we're going to talk about the what the purpose of the end product breakdown structure is. Now, the end product breakdown structure is the very last phase. Uh, in this phase here now, we're actually trying to decide how we're going to build and can kind of configure and maintain from a, from a, even a, a construction uh, perspective, uh, the design that we have. So we can start figuring out what's going to be built and by, maybe even by who. So in this phase, uh, again, with a reminder of what we're working on, we're working on this uh, trail power. And you can see here that the trail power, even in this picture, is now we're starting to think about what are the various portions of that system. Uh, you will see how uh, the configuration I have deliver this physical architecture and how the product is basically planned to be delivered by sets of components uh, and how some of the sets may be configured together as an item uh, and how items are the key to working with suppliers. So in this view, we, we have this diagram, and I'll go into a little bit of a demonstration of it. But you know, typically, you see it represented in a, in a hierarchy, hierarchical uh, format. So that's why we call it the end product breakdown structure. So it shows that, okay, I have this thing called trail power. And trail power basically is broken down into a number of what we would call prime items. So I've got the, the solar charger, I've got the telemetry system, and I have the stand. So you see here that here's just the, the top part would be the charger. Uh, and then the prime item is broken down into pieces also. And in this case, you can see the prime item has solar panels and it has this charger box and it has some screws and it also has some lighting. So the whole lighting system is part of this prime item, uh, not, not even the hardware, the case that kind of holds it. Now over here, the telemetry system, that has, has different pieces. There's a photon particle that's part of it, and there's the telemetry software of it. And the telemetry uh, hardware actually comes with a circuit board that includes it. And then, uh, so there's a signal sensor board that's with it and an antenna. So those are all part of this telemetry system. And then finally, the last thing is the, the stand that the solar charger on is the prime item stand. Now going live, let's go into the software and we'll take a look at that. Um, we're going to open up the EPBS structure and we're going to see a couple different breakdowns. Uh, I'm going to open up the structure view here and you can see I started building out the structure that you were just seeing uh, in this view. And we've got a couple different diagrams. Uh, uh, the, the prime one is the CIBD structure diagram that I was showing and it shows kind of this breakdown similar to the diagram I had before. Now what we can do here is we can link the objects that are here and we can overlay pictures like you've seen and we can link these objects back to the physical artifacts that are representing them. And in this case this implements the charger box that was in that physical architecture. So if I bring up my physical architecture here and show that diagram We'll do the one uh, with nodes, for instance. I'll show that in this view on the side. And then we bring and we show the, the BID. So you hear, here's my charger box here. You see the objects that are, you know, basically being shown. Uh, those objects are these objects over here. So this is the charger box. And, you know, one way to easily see that is, you know, I can even open this up. And when we edit this, you can see that those objects have been brought over and they are all then part of that 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 part of the solution and so that basically shows what things are going to basically be grouped together and assembled as components so the prime item might again again the solar panel is an individual prime item that's going to be brought with the sol the, the the solar cell uh, and it's going to become part of this whole system here and this shows what are all the pieces of the charger box? I have this board, I have that battery. All these things have to be brought together. And let's say if you were working with a supplier, their job would basically be to bring all these pieces together and, and put them together for uh, that unit to basically be assembled at one time. So here I'm, I have a, a graphic for this one, and you can see that this is a COTS off-the-self uh, component. So this is even getting down, and you can even actually indicate things differently. Here, what, what things are bought, and which things are hardware, uh, which things are software. So some of the information that was before 
hidden a little bit now are becoming much more visible in this in this uh, diagram and you can see over here uh, the, the different designations that we have for that it's a very useful uh, diagram here's here's the, the definitions of what things are uh, I brought this up and captured it as a screenshot but you have systems you have prime you have computer software hardware uh, configuration items, non-developed configuration items, and COTS, commercial off-the-shelf items. So this helps you start planning out uh, where you're going to get the products, who you're going to source them from, and then how you're going to assemble them and even bring them together to build the, the unit. So that's that's basically concludes that section. Uh, so just a summary then of what this information looks like. Is that you know with the end product breakdown you saw how you basically have these configured items and how you can break down and deliver the physical architecture with them. It shows how the product is now delivered by a set of components and how some sets of components can be configured together as an item. And finally, how items are the key to working with uh, suppliers and and basically building up content for your system. Uh, thank you very much.